been forever since I last made and posted a video, mainly because it is, um, or it has been. And as you guys can see, I'm shooting in a different place. My grandparents had to sell that little bed that I sat on in my basement. And I know I said that I was going to start shooting in my bedroom. Actually, yeah, I did post that video. I know I said I was going to start shooting in my bedroom, but my cats are crazy. And they would have knocked down the camera, so I was like, eh, no. I've gotten, I've gotten enough followers <laughs> since the last time I was being really consistent with video uploads that I feel like I should reintroduce myself on my channel. Um, also, I don't really think I did a great job introducing myself on my on this channel. I did it on my group channel, but not this one. And I'm talking too much. Anyways, this video is going to be 18 things about me. Why 18? Because I'm 18. I know I'm turning 19 this year, but I'm not 19 yet. So, 18 things about Deanna. Enjoy. Number 18. If you do not follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter... Or Snapchat. I have officially committed to St. John's University. Woo! Go Red Storm! What, 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 what? What's their, what's their mascot? Is it a fire bird? A red bird? I don't know what that bird is. A falcon? Red falcon! Boom! Red falcon. Um, okay, number 17. Super random fun fact. I have to eat my food in twos. Uh, like finger foods, if it's french fries, I will actually need to line the potatoes up to make sure that they are the exact same size before I can eat them. I don't know why this is necessary for me to eat, but it is. Like, I just... I kind of do the same thing with candy too. I like to eat the same kinds of candies. Like if you see runts, two bananas, eating them. Two little green things, eating them. Like, it's gotta be in twos at all times. Everything except for nerds. Nerds don't count because they're tiny. Number 16, I am a night owl. Like a serious night owl. Sometimes I really think I have insomnia because I legit can't sleep at night. Like, I've been going to bed at 6 a.m. for the past three weeks. Between 2 and 7 is like my consistent bedtime. Number 15, if I can get at least four straight uninterrupted hours of sleep, I will be fine for the rest of the day. Like seriously, I can operate on just four hours as long as nobody comes and wakes me up because it takes me about an hour and a half to really relax and then about another half hour to fall asleep unless I'm really tired but just do not wake me up if I'm already asleep because then I won't get back to sleep and then we're gonna have a problem because I'm gonna be crunchy all day number 14 is I have never had pizza and I'm not sad about it okay I'm sad that I've had cheese or Cheez-Its and I know what those taste like but I can't eat them anymore. I've never had pizza because I'm allergic to dairy and my mom never gave it to me as a little kid but I was still allowed to have like Cheez-Its and stuff until we figured out my allergy was real. I want Cheez-Its! <laughs> Number 13 is I have tried pretty much every form of schooling. When I was in kindergarten, I was in this school called Canterbury, and that was like some type of Christian school. And I don't think it was Catholic, but it was close to it. And then I did public school for first through fourth grade. Then I went to military school in England for two years. And then I moved back here and I went to a year round school. And then I went to a Christian private school for eighth grade. And then I was homeschooled all throughout high school and through eighth grade as well. And then once I started homeschooling, I did almost every form of homeschooling. So I did all the schools, all right? You can't tell me about no school. I did it all. Okay, before I even start with number 12, I just need to start it off by saying thank you to my mother for this. I've been homeschooled.
school since I was 13 and my mom originally pulled me out from private school because the school I was going to wasn't entire <clears throat> entirely helping me be the best student I could be so she wanted to make sure that I got enough attention in my schooling so that I could really push myself to be a better student and it really helped me prepare for college and get ready for the applications and stuff and being homeschooled kind of gave me a little bit of an advantage when it came to applying to colleges because they look for homeschoolers. It's amazing. So thank you mommy so much for homeschooling me. And if anybody wants to find out about homeschooling, I will put her email in my bio so y'all can talk to her because homeschooling changed my life and it can change yours. Woo! Number 11 is I lived in England for two years. I feel like I've talked about that a little bit on my channel before, but um, yeah, I lived in England for two years after my mom got married to this guy and we stayed, we were stationed overseas and we stayed in Peterborough. It was really beautiful in the springtime, super duper cold in the wintertime. I do not miss those uber dark mornings and extra uber dark evenings as soon as we got out of school was depressing that was not fun but I do miss some of the people that I met while I was there shout out to Kelsey and Becky and Cora and a bunch of other people and I love you guys if you ever see this you guys were the best people I think I've ever met number 10 is and this I don't even think many of my friends know this about me but I love deep sea fishing I went deep sea fishing when I was not like right after my ninth birthday I went deep sea fishing with my mom and her then fiance and oh my gosh my mom was throwing up the entire time but she she didn't like it I'm gonna tell y'all why I love deep sea fishing but it's a long story so if you want to hear this story comment below Deanna I want to know why you love deep sea fishing and then I will get right on it and make a video about it but number nine is I was much more of a tomboy when I was younger than I am now like I still like doing tomboyish stuff like getting dirty and stuff but I can admit I'm a lot more girly than I used to be like when I was probably like 10 or 11 I really enjoyed going out with friends in my neighborhood when I lived in England and like running around and playing on bikes and stuff like we used to have mud fights on construction zones like we shouldn't have been doing that but it was really really fun because nobody was watching us and we used to build fortresses we built one out of like a bunch of old tree limbs some carpets and some other like some blankets yeah and we built it and we crawled inside we had a little radio in there and stuff like oh my gosh it was so cool and then the construction workers destroyed it because it wasn't supposed to be there but it was fun oh my gosh i would probably like i would probably be like that now if i had friends to go out and do that kind of stuff with but i don't oh. growing up number eight was something that i always felt like i had to prove to people but I used to have long, like, waist length hair. And here's the pictures, and y'all probably won't believe me. So I used to get told that I couldn't have long hair because I wasn't mixed. And I was like, yeah, but I got Indian in my family. Well, not Indian, Native American, Cherokee. Thank you, Dad. And. I forget what's on my dad or my mom's side, but whatever, okay? I used to have really long hair. I had to cut it when I was 13 because it got all knotty. And I have really sensitive hair. I'm tender-headed, so I didn't feel like my mom coming through all of that. So I told her to cut it to my shoulders. And I've been trying to grow it back ever since, guys. It's just, it's a long process. I miss my long hair. Number seven is I am double-jointed in my arms. Um, I used to do competitive cheerleading and anytime we'd have to do like any type of cheer um, <laughs> or like prepping for jumps, I'd always go like this and then put my hands out and you can't really see my jaw. Hold on. So I can understand. My arms 
pretty much make a Y when I do this. So I don't know if y'all be you'll be able to see it in the camera, but my arms will just go out to the side. So it's awkward. So anytime I would try to do like a back handspring, everybody would be concerned about my arms because they don't go straight. They go to the side. Number six is, and if you have been a long time subscriber, you know, I am terribly afraid of the dark. I will post this video up here so anybody who's new to my channel can see what happened one time when I was in the dark. And it's a serious thing, guys, okay? I get it. I'm 18, terrified of the dark. I don't like it. Don't judge me, okay? It's okay to be afraid of things sometimes. Number five is, and this is another thing that I don't want you guys judging me on, but I believed in Santa Claus until I was 12, okay? Look, let me explain it. Um, okay, Polar Express, or the Polar Express is my favorite movie of all time, okay? So I grew up believing that once I stopped believing in Santa Claus, I wouldn't be able to hear the bell anymore. And I thought that that, like, if I couldn't hear it on the movie, it would mean that I didn't believe in Santa Claus anymore. And I used to try and catch Santa Claus at Christmas times. Like, I had a camera once. I was going to stay up all night and try and catch him. And then my mom, when we were in the car once in England, just flat out told me, Santa Claus isn't real. And I was like, yes, he is. I had a full breakdown in the car because my mother told me Santa Claus wasn't real. And I didn't want to believe it because I wanted the magic to stay real for me. And I wanted to always hear the bell. I can still hear the bell, okay? Low key, I still believe in Santa Claus. Like, I know he's not real, but he's real to me. So let me believe in Santa Claus. Number four is actually something that's happened with me and my mom. I have seen a UFO, okay? It's real, it was very frightening. And if you want the story for it, comment below and say, Deanna, tell me about that UFO. And I want you to spell it like B-O-U-T-D-A-T-U-F-O. Tell me about that UFO if you want me to tell you the story. That's the only way I'll do it. And number three is, and this should have been figured by number four, I believe in extraterrestrials. I mean, how can I be a Christian and believe in God and not believe that we are not the only beings in this universe or in the galaxy like i know y'all y'all saw that report of the planet that's just like earth but like a bunch of light years away come on now you trying to tell me that there are no other life forms anywhere except for earth are you serious they found water on mars come on there are aliens out there and i don't think they're the weird little green martian thingies but Area 51 is no joke, okay? They're real. Come at me. I feel like I keep giving facts about myself that call for stories, but number two is I got catfished by Hannah Montana once. Um, and if you would like the story for that, comment below. This is what dreams are made of. Yes, I know that's Lizzie McGuire, but that's what I want you to write. If you want to hear how I got catfished by Hannah Montana at the age of 10, comment below, this is what dreams are made of. And last but not least, don't let this appearance fool you, okay? I know I appear like I am just a young, black, teenage girl, but the truth is, guys, not, I'm not really sure if you guys are ready to hear this, but I am actually a unicorn. I've been trapped inside this humanoid body for the last 18 years. Okay, a wizard trapped me in here to save me from this Red Bull, and I've been trying to be set free ever since, and I'm starting to forget sometimes that I'm a unicorn, and it's very frightening. Okay, I don't like this body that I'm in. I want to be 
my unicorny self. Okay? I just need some wizard to come find me and release me back to my natural form. Can any of you do this for me? I just want to prance through the fields and feel the breeze through my mane. Oh, oh my gosh. I forgot the most important fact of all. Okay, this is a bonus fact. Count this as like 1.2, okay? I speak a little bit of French. And I say a little bit because I'm still learning. But I learned this just for you guys so you could hear. Bonjour, je m'appelle Diana. Oh crap. Wait, wait, I know this. Okay. Bonjour, je m'appelle Diana et bienvenue et mon chien. That means, hello, my name is Diana and welcome to my channel! Welcome to my channel. Bienvenue, je m'appelle Diana. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I know this was probably a really ridiculously long video. I'm super sorry and I will try to make them shorter next time, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Share it with people you know, people you don't know, people you like, and people you dislike. Why should you share this video with somebody that you dislike? I don't know. Maybe share it with somebody you dislike because... <sighs> Just test yourself. You know, do something outside of your comfort zone. Nobody likes talking to people that they don't like, but you know what it shows? It shows that you can be mature enough to have a civil conversation and give them something that's like really awesome and cool because they probably wouldn't do that for you. But you're giving them something cool to look at, which says a lot about you because then that makes you an even cooler person, so. Hey guys, it's no worries.